Take that crown off of that clown. What's a clown? A man who constantly breaks dates with you at the last minute. Every time you want to see him, all of a sudden he has something else he has to do. He's only texting you. Even though you told him you want to talk to him, to call you, he continues to text. Wants to have conversation with text. When he meets his friends, he introduces you as Barbara. Not his girlfriend Barbara, just Barbara. Because he doesn't want any titles. No. We can do better. Hello, my darling ladies. Do not treat a man as a priority when he's just treating you like an option. Breaking dates at the last minute. A man who really cares about you does not do that. You always know what you are going to do uh, the next day. I mean, what is that called? Breaking dates at the last minute. That means he has no respect for you. And what does that also mean? That means he's going to do something else. He prefers to do something else than to see you. And a man who is, you know, involved with you, who wants to have a relationship, get to know you, he wants to talk to you. He wants to hear your voice. He wants you to hear his voice. Not just texting you, especially when you told him to call you because you want to have a conversation. You don't want to have a conversation with text and he's, he's still not calling you. And if you've been dating a man for two or three months, he knows whether or not he would like you to be his girlfriend. It doesn't exist that after two or three months of dating a man, he's still introducing you as his friend. Oh, this is Barbara. No. Either he wants you to be his girlfriend or not. Do not date a man two or three months and you're still dating and you're still, you know, his friend. No. Especially if he wants to take it to the next level, which is having sex. Well, as I said in many videos, dating doesn't include sex. He wants to make love to you, then he makes it official. You're his girlfriend. He doesn't want any titles? Fine. You do not have sex with him. And you tell him. No titles, no sex. I have sex when I'm in a relationship. And when do you see your man, ladies? Do you see him only in the evening? Or do you spend Saturdays and Sundays with him? Because a real relationship, a boyfriend, wants to spend a Saturday with you. Sunday afternoon, brunch, lunch, walking in the park. It's not just about, you know, sex. It's not sexual. It's not just the evening. He enjoys your company. And even sex, you don't have it every date. Every time you see him, you do not make love. No. You get together. You enjoy each other's company. These are things you must realize that if he is doing or not doing, you're not in a relationship. You are investing in someone who's not investing in you. Because if he wants your happiness, these things come natural. He wants to spend the day with you. He wants to call you. Not just text. He can't wait to call you his girlfriend. So don't believe that crap about he doesn't want titles. He wants titles. When he meets the woman that he really likes, he can't wait to call her his girlfriend. He doesn't want titles maybe with you. Because he thinks he can find someone better. So he's keeping you on the side. No titles. That way he's not telling his friends, you know. He's got a girlfriend, so he can, you know, just make his new life whenever he wants. No, you are not second-class citizen. He wants to be with you. You must have standards, ladies, boundaries. It's been two or three months. What are we? Is this a relationship? Because I'm not going to continue just dating. You don't date forever. You date two or three months. He wants to make love to you, then he makes it official. You're his girlfriend. When he meets his friends, he introduces you as his girlfriend. Not Barbara or Sharon or this is my friend. No, this is my girlfriend. He should be proud of you, showing you off. People in his life, you have met them. 
You met everyone who's important in his life, friends, family, his best friend, and he wants to meet yours. He listens to you. When you talk, he is actually listening to you. He remembers things. Oh, you know, uh, didn't you say you wanted to go to that um, concert on Wednesday? Oh, listen, I got that um, CD that you were, we were talking about. Talking, communicating, and, you know, arguing, that happens sometimes, but it should be rare. Not every time you get together. Not every time you get together, there's a discussion about something. What you saying is incorrect. Everything he says is right. Your opinion, no, he doesn't really respect it. Everything he says, you must respect. It's an 80-20 relationship. No, it should be 50-50. You're a couple. You're a team. You're working together to make this relationship grow. And he should be doing everything in his power to make you happy. Not discussing or arguing or criticizing or insulting. Helping you. Making you happy. Encouraging you. Is he doing that? Then you need to take that crown off that clown, because you are investing your time and energy in a man who has no, no plans to make a relationship with you. He's doing it all wrong. Do not accept bad treatment. Because don't be surprised when it continues. You accept bad treatment, it continues. You don't have standards, he will treat you the way he wants to. You don't have boundaries, Whereas you cannot call me last minute and break a date. I will accept that once, but I'm not accepting that again. You make sure that you are free. And if you're not going to be free, you let me know the day before. But a man who really cares about you, he does everything in his power to keep that date. Okay, I remember here in Italy, I had a date with uh, this guy named Angelo. It's around 6 o'clock, his friend Filippo calls me. He's like, oh, Chris, I wanted to tell you, Angelo, he fell down the cellar steps and he broke his arm. I'm like, oh my God, okay. Well, you know, tell him I'll call him later, you know, don't worry about it. No, no, he's gonna, you know, be for the date. Uh, he'll be there. He's just gonna be a little late. He wanted me to call you because <laughs> he's on his way to the hospital now and let you know. Okay, <laughs> that's an extreme. I was, I couldn't believe it. And he actually did show up at nine o'clock with his arm in a sling and we went on our date. So we don't break, you know, men do not break dates, especially not last minute, if they really care about you, respect you, if they really, you know, are serious about this relationship. That's something you do to a woman that you don't really care about. And you don't accept that. So my darling ladies, Tuesday, Wednesday, you should already know what you're doing for the weekend. Not waiting for his call. Is he going to call me? Did he call me? And, you know, three or four days should never go by, and you haven't heard from him. I mean, some girls are telling me, Crystal, it's been five days I haven't heard from him. You know, does that, does that mean that, you know, he's got someone else or... Yes. <laughs> yes. A man cannot go without more than one day without hearing from the woman he's crazy about, who he's having a relationship with, who he loves, who he desires, who he likes a lot. Doesn't go two or three days without um, contacting her. So yes, he contacts a woman that he likes every day. Okay, maybe one day can go by, but actually, in some shape or form, he will contact you. Okay, my ladies, stop investing time and energy in a relationship that's not going anywhere. He's never calling, only texting, breaking dates. Three, four months and he's still not calling you his girlfriend. Arrivederci. You keep your standards high. He does not appreciate you. Someone else will. Ciao for now, my darling ladies. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And thank you if you have already subscribed. Talk to you soon. Mwah.